Hi everyone, this is Mary O'Brien back with some tips about how I lead a disposable plastic free lifestyle. And today I'm going to share with you a little story about how I avoided disposable plastic at a work event, specifically a retirement party. So this was for a very high up person in the agency that I work for that was retiring. Had been there over 30 years, pretty big deal. And I learned from past experiences to get to these events right away at the beginning um, so that you can get a seat and hear their speech and everything. So I did my mingling in the beginning, spoke with a lot of people, things like that. And, and they had some really nice photos going on in the background, got to see all of that. They gave a brief overview of his career. And then they asked if anyone had anything to share about this person that that they wanted to let the group know a story or whatever. And I held my breath. I get so anxious at, in those types of situations, a wedding, some sort of event like this, any sort of award ceremony. I can't watch them on television, the Emmys, any of that. When people go up to give their speeches, I'm always just cringing for them in anticipation of them saying something awkward and horrible. Anyway, it was amazing. Every single person that stood up had this like eloquent speech. It was funny, it was meaningful. It was like, had a beginning, middle and an end. It was almost like rehearsed. It was, it was amazing. I, I could finally let out a, a breath of uh, relief at the end and oh, lots of claps, it was great. And so anyway, then the person retiring, he got up and he gave a little speech and he told the story of Charles Plum, who was in Vietnam, he was a jet pilot. He was in 75 combat missions before his plane was shot down, burst into flames, and he parachuted down into enemy uh, hands. And then he was held captive for six years before he was finally released. And years later, this man was in a restaurant with his wife when somebody came up to him and said, you're Charles Plum. And the guy was like, yeah, how would you know that? It's like, I was a sailor on the ship and I packed your parachute. It seems like it worked out for you. And he was like, yes, yes, it really did. And then the man retiring, he turned around and said, so I wanted to thank all of you for packing my parachute and helping to lead to my success in my position. It certainly wasn't with all of you and all that kind of good stuff. And I was like, wow, that is a fantastic little gratitude retirement speech. It was, it was very good. So if any of you are retiring anytime soon or know somebody who is, go ahead and pass that one on as a recommendation to use that. Um, so after all that, they're like, okay, help yourselves to the refreshments and we're gonna have a receiving line. Like I said, I um, this person was very high up in the agency. I didn't know them very well. And so my plan was I was going to get some food and then head right back up to my office. Um, I had not brought more. I mean, I don't honestly know if I would have brought more stuff with me, even if I would have realized it the night before and had time, you know, thought to pack it. But as it is, I brought down my little travel coffee mug in case there was any sort of a beverage, which there was. They had a brightly colored punch, which I went out to, and they had a bunch of little plastic cups that were already filled with it, kind of surrounding the punch bowl. And I could have taken off the top of my travel mug and probably ladled some of that punch bowl punch directly into my mug, but I got nervous. It was brightly colored. If I would have spilled, it would have been quite obvious. I didn't want to make a scene, and also I... I wasn't too interested in the punch to begin with. So I just moved on from the punch, no big loss there. And I really put all my focus on the cake. So that's what I really wanted anyway. It looked like a good one. A lot of times cakes at these sorts of events look like they have that disgusting granular sugar. And um, yeah, I've had a lot of bad cakes over the years, but I could tell that this one was gonna be good. I just had a sense and boy was I right. So. It was a good thing that I found a workaround, um, but there there was something to be overcome because uh, they had already plated a lot of the cake, and of course it was plated on um, little styrofoam plates, and it had little plastic disposable 
forks kind of like stuck in there and I didn't want any of that. But thankfully there were giant paper napkins available. So I just asked the lady who was dishing it all up if she could put one directly on a napkin for me. Thankfully they hadn't already plated the entire cake. And so she was able to do that. I was on my way back up to my office anyhow. At that point I didn't plan on, I had already talked to everyone. And so I just took my cake up to my office and I ate it there with some utensils I had up there and it was no big deal. And so the moral of the story is, one, lucky you if you get to go to an event like I did where everyone who gives a speech does an amazing job. And two, if you are retiring anytime soon, go ahead and use that story. It really went over really pretty well. Um, and then second, the third thing I guess is that just because you're in an event and things are already poured and plated and set out doesn't mean you just have to go blindly accepting them or else going away without having anything to eat or drink there you know you can do some creative problem solving and come up with some other alternatives so i hope that this little story has been helpful to you if so if you could please like this video that would be great if you want more stories like this and helpful tips and products things that i've found that have helped me be disposable plastic free go ahead and subscribe below and if in the comments you could please share with me anything that you have done when you've been in similar situations that have um, worked very smoothly for you. I would, I would love to hear more. All right. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.